Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for January 15th, 2020. No, I'm not forgetting anything. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, only 12 players with Marvin taking the top spot. Excuse me, with 806. With Steek in 804. LB in 800. I did, well, I could have done better with a 790. Dano a 770. ITJ and Ruben 750. Smith a 705. Quietest 500. Fish. Uh, fish bonger. I don't know. I don't need to truncate that. A 280. And five from the top five from the friends list. Lena didn't apparently play yesterday. Congratulations all. Yeah, I could have could have done better with that slide uh, that sentry, but uh, also things could have gone better too. Today we have sensor, remote power, transporter, uh, average drone health, three infestations on a private B, but we do have that remote power. I already hear Swarm. Uh, remote power powers the whole ship. That is good. Alright, what do I want to do here? Let's... All right, all of these have airlocks. Let's open up nine. Let's open up ten. What kind of ship is this again? Private, okay. that swarm has decided to be a pain in the ass. Alright, that was a leaper, probably. R8 might be clear. Destroyed terminal, vent, okay. Uh, that's been open long enough. That's definitely not a leaper in R8 if there is anything. Oh, defenses. That's good. All right, defenses means I can leave this open. Trap and Sonic don't really help me much. All right. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Let's go check A5, I guess. Let's open up D12. Close D10. didn't really look to see when I opened up. Oh. Okay, we don't have to worry about... That's good and bad. We don't have to worry about slime today. That's good to know. I haven't gotten another transport signal yet. When did I open D12? I didn't time it. All right, but that should be good enough. That is probably unfortunate. Oh, no. That means the only... 
That means the only terminal on this ship is busted. That also means that R5 is a great spot to get the sentry in. R6 is even better, but radiating that is harder. R3 would be pretty good. I didn't think about that. Because there's going to be a swarm in R9 at some point. I don't want to take the risk of putting uh, putting another sensor in there. But I am confident that I'm safe right now. So I'm not going to get ship scan. I'm not going to have a radiation leak. There's no other terminals that I could possibly check. I'm not going to pull a ship upgrade that I can use. So this is it. All right. I hope that's the right spot. I hope I time it right. I'm going to wait till that fills. Not worried about time because I don't have to worry about slime. 14 and 21, go. Perfect spot. All right. 804, give or take. I might have enough sensors in there. I might have too few. That is what it is. But it was 804, so it'll be... I'll have a few seconds to get in and out safely. Ten more seconds. Two hits. I'm okay with that. I'm actually really happy with that. 
I could have put them closer to the bottom, which would have been better for me, but probably wouldn't have mattered too much. Alright, nothing else I can do on this ship. I'm really curious if R9 is going to spawn at all. It's like this morbid curiosity. I really shouldn't be checking, but... Oh, wow. Almost the whole 10 minutes. All right. You know what? Let's be nice to the next guy. Let's be dicks to the next guy. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and go. Total of 791. Could have had a 795, but there was no way to fire the defense. There was a trap. That would have been worth taking the chance, wouldn't it? Damn. Total of nine scrap. Three of that was from the sentry. Could have had a 795. I didn't even think about what was on that drone because I remember both of them were damaged. One drone, two upgrades, no ship upgrades, and no fuel. And LB and Dargard took the chance, had a 795. I took the 791. All things considered, that's not terrible. Mustika had a 789, taking a little bit more damage from it. Smith, a 735. Miss didn't get the sentry at all. Interesting. Reuven, also 735. Odin Ving Thorson. I guess that's Odin Vinklerson uh, currently playing. If you haven't done your run yet, good luck. If you have, do please leave a comment with your experiences and strategies for a ship like this. Overall, not a bad ship, all things considered. Uh, sensor, usually not the best upgrade, but this one, because of the number of airlocks uh, in the starting rooms and everything pow being powered off of one generator and you had remote power, uh, everything was extremely accessible. So this was a fairly fast run, all things considered, with, uh, with sensors, especially compared to some others. If you haven't done your run yet, good luck. If you have, do please leave a comment with your own experiences and strategies. Excuse me, for a ship like this. I think I already said that. Maybe not. If you'd like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin Copper, Dano416, LB, Mustika21, Dargard, Decavoid, Mercalor, Corndoth, and Agenda 1999, all listed in the video description. No, that's the old one. Uh, if you'd like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin, Dano416, LB, Mustika21, and Dargard all listed in the video description. That's... I haven't said the... Well, I started the other day, but um, I've been trying that for two weeks, and I'm still messing up. All right. If you enjoyed, do please like, and have a good day.